Injured here, welcome back to Age of Wonders 3, where our halflings just took out some orcs. Guzkul has been slain, and we are absorbing the throne city of Rados because we're nice like that. These fellas are hanging around. I'm not sure what they're going to do. They might not move at all now that they're neutral. And we're going to try and take Umar over here. Over to the east, our throne city of Halvors is trying to raise an army for Jaffa. We're working on eagle riders right now, and a shaman. We've got Hobton, our money-making town. 104 gold just from this place. Good stuff. And they're going to start researching soon to help us get gargantuan animals. No seals have been taken. We know of two. One there. And one... Where is it? Over there, which is in the vicinity of the goblin warlord that we've seen. We have Jovala leader heading towards that seal, I guess. But I want trouble to have an army. We have one over here, right? Yes, you guys are going to be Trouble's problem. Got a Sphinx to join Leo. Uh, I guess we should take out this Magma Forge on our way. Wasn't there a... Yes. There's a Necromantic Circle as well we need to take out before it spawns very bad things. So I guess Trouble can head down and do that. Yes, maybe we can eat some rabbits and get some health back while we're in here. Choking fumes, we got some dwarves and some Tigran Sun God over there. Here's our mature shock serpent, already expert, it's going to be a king soon. How much XP do you need? 20. I don't, I don't think you can get that in a single fight, I'm not sure what the cap is. Okay, trouble, who are you going to heal? Let's just throw our Eagle Rider forward, like so, and feed him some rabbits. The rabbits seem so pleased to just leap into the mouth of the eagle. Choval can feed a rabbit to the griffin, and then you can do slip away on herself. There we go. And level up as well. That's going to be our turn. Are you guys going to move? They do have engineers that have the blunderbuss. So, try not to bunch up like crazy guys um, we can now awaken the shock serpent I'm ready to roll you are gonna awaken the griffin oh we well, should maybe move first how close can you get how close do you want to get I don't think I want to get closer than this Eagle Rider can stand behind this thing. Not really anything to, for you to stand behind. That would be super useful, so stay there. Let them come and throw their stones. Oh, you do your polearm stuff. And throw stones. You bastards, you blinded my eagle. Okay. Can come and flank these prospectors. Oh, we could try and charm these sun god, although they do have spirit protection, so that could be tricky. Let's give it a go. 39%. We got him. Don't even need to attack those fellas. In fact, you are just going to slip away and heal. And the eagle rider is going to. Oh, we want some XP for you, though, don't we? Afraid if I charge with the Eagle Rider here, they're just going to kill themselves on me next turn. I'm just going to get in their face. We want that Serpent XP. It's not going to be a lot. These are just tier 1 units. You fumbled your blunderbuss. Actually, bloody shot me as well, you bastard. Uh, why can't you cast a spell? Where's your casting points gone? I guess we used them in the last episode and I've forgotten. You can heal though. Where's that eagle rider? There you are. Okay, shock serpent. Oh, we're going to need to take a hit getting away. Shock serpent can't get around here. I'm a fool. Fine, I'll take a melee hit. A fumbled melee hit from those idiots. 
Oh, for this. Oh, now you're stunned. You guys can just stay there. Guess we give some XP to the Griffin. Because they're stunned, we can go next turn and get some kill XP on those guys. Is there anything else I can do? Just to farm some XP here? Not really. To do another heal or something. But I'm good. Let's see how much XP that gave them. They got one attack and then another attack and a kill. That gave them 8 XP. Just a tier 1 unit. And now we have a Sun God. How grand. Really need to take out this Necromantic Circle. Jaffa's kind of far away. Leo has things to do. And, uh... Oh, right, we can't move this Sphinx, so you can't do them now. Can we turn these guys around? We need three turns to get there. I guess we get the seal first. Oh, well, we might as well just wipe out this gold mine. Get a little bit more gold. Upgrade. Healing. Yes. And what? Some spirit protection, maybe? Lots of elementals to fight in the uh, seal fights. The seal battles. What is our tiger up to? Do I want to push you further? Do I want someone who can run around and get people from these inns? I guess we'll send you a little bit further. There's some scoundrels over here. Just send the tiger into the inn with some gold. No one's going to rob them, are they? Next turn, I suppose. Are we slightly good? We are. Slightly good. Okay. Let's see if we can spot that goblin. End your turn first, Damas. Here we go. Wazul the Jagged. Maybe we can make friends with the goblin. They're little, like us. Probably bathe less than the halfling as well. How do you have so little vision, Tiger? You're a hunter. Okay, we didn't see the goblin. It's a spider place. These are the ones... I think those are the ones that spawn spiders all the time. So we know of three inns, I think, here. Yeah. Jasper's waiting for the Eagle Rider and the Shaman is going to be a little while. Going to be a little while. Maybe we push up to the uh, seal now. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not confident in this army taking a seal out without heavy losses, though. Oh, someone's prime evil already on turn 35. I guess that's possible. Okay. Sphinx. Do we go and kill these fellas? They're not moving. I'm going to go for the city first. You. Yeah. Come and smack up. Oh, don't cast any spells. Just kill him. We now have a king shot serpent, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look at this bad boy. 16 and 6. 14 defense, 12 resistance. And this is that recruit. Gets charge at elite. And a bunch of nice stuff along the way. It can swim. Static shield and inflict stun. This thing's nasty. Frost and blight protection. Oh, that's from the natural immunity, yeah. And of course, shock protection. And the frost is from warm at night. You could be really protected from elements when you are an arch druid army, it turns out. Hey, elephant fellas. You need to move faster than that. Can I make it to the seal? Not quite. Maybe if I grab this first. It's a tier 3 and a bunch of tier 2s. I think we should try it, you know. I don't really want to wait for that elephant army. So we've got other things to be getting on with. So we are going to try this fight. It might be a terrible idea. We can always get shot or something. And messed up or stunned rather. Yeah, you're not going to find anything. I'm going to send you off to inns I think. Go to that haste barrier. Okay. Someone's super evil. We've got the house of Yuka Yuka whatever it's called. What is it? The house of Yaka. With some more fire damage, you are now researching like crazy, which is good. 
Three turns to the gargantuan animal. You are getting an eagle rider. What else can we get? Queue up. Oh, megalith. They give you plus 20 mana per turn. Pretty good. Pay for themselves in five turns. Oh, we've got rabbit burrows. I guess we should get that. We need some defenses, eh? And then I want that megalith, please, because we're going to be summoning like crazy once these gargantuan animals are in. You can't move anymore. I think we're good to go. Oh, Siege Workshop in Halivores. That's how we got the rabbit burrows. Because, you know, you need a Siege Workshop to be able to get a burrow of rabbits to defend your city. That is what we've got, people. Can't remember what they do. They come out the ground and attack you and do something. Just annoy the crap out of you, maybe. Why would cheat the... Oh, I thought those were chopped down trees, but they're just little walky houses. When has this become ours? Oh, next turn. Maybe we can get some shock troopers. Eventually. You can also go in. When you conquer a city of a class that's not yours, you can go in and sell the class buildings, which you obviously can't use. What was that noise? Isn't that a city being raised or something? Why could I hear it? Is it close? It wasn't Umar, was it? Hopefully it's not Umar. Maybe that's the evil idiot that's going around raising things. Okay, we have Rados. And if we look in here, yeah, we can sell the Warlord's Command and the Great Beast Lair and the Gladiator Pit. Let's do it in order, maybe. I don't know if that makes a difference. And we'll get gold back for those, which will be nice. It's got a lot of stuff already. What else What don't you have? All right, you don't have the Arch Druid things, which is fair enough, but you can already produce shock troopers and that might be a very good thing to do we might want the arena first so they come out at an additional rank this is double check that they are infantry yes they are and why not your morale isn't very good get some baths soon uh, first i should say we'll get there we will get to the shock troopers raise an orky army just like five shock troopers and a priest probably and governance impalers do some more damage war halls are cheaper none of them particularly useful for us i'm pretty sure both the cities we take are gonna have war halls but maybe umar doesn't there's this fight yaka's still going items have arrived what is this oh hey you have things Well done. Oh, you moved. The fella's moved. Oh, now you're hostile to me, eh? Okay, I'm not sure what you are doing, Mr. Priest dude. So let's kill you. Get a bit of XP in there. Wow, you did a lot of damage to my monster hunter, apparently. Wasn't that weird? Who is defending this place? It's a full stack. Okay, we should be able to deal with it though. Got gold mining, got a mana node. Quarry, couple of farms, I think. It's a decent gold city as well, Ro uh, Rodas. Is that what it's called? Rados? I always forget. Rados. Okay, the seal fight is on. How cleanly can we do this? What is this? A bunch of air elementals. Don't they have physical resistance? Yes. And shock protection, which sucks. What are you? Frost. Your physical weakness. Yeah, we know how that feels. Okay. It only says probable victory, which is concerning. Oh, there's this bloody thing going on. The Guardian of the Seals. Complete bollocks. Even when you're defending the seal, it still hits you. The seal's not happy with anyone but the elementals controlling it. So a bunch of them are off the uh, off of defense now. Right now, maybe we can do a good hornet swarm. No, cannot do a good hornet swarm. Light doesn't affect any of those fellas. I guess we are awakening right now. We want to get yeah trouble over to awaken the griffin. 
Jovar can awaken our King Shock Serpent over here. Do we want to move you forward first? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Everyone has bloody shock protection apart from the elemental. Which is very annoying. Gonna charge the uh, spirit element. We can't take it out. I think I'm gonna move the Tiger and Sun God forward to try and tank for us. And yeah, we, we're gonna awaken you. Keep that heal ready. Just can't do a lot to the air elemental, say. Maybe we'll just get in front of this guy and defend. You are gonna take these two attacks and you're gonna crit them. Beautiful, that's gonna be a dead spirit elemental there. Well done, Eagle Rider. These guys, these Eagle, this Eagle Rider has been fantastic for us. Good thing we started with it. What would our run have been like without that thing? Uh, yes, yeah, a really annoying fight over here, but they're not doing much damage to us at least. And they are off defense, so we should probably take those two shots. Rolled 11 twice. Great. And I think that's everyone. What other things do we have in terms of spells? Not a whole lot that can help us. We've got a heal. We do have a heal. Guardian of the Seals. Good that it's on our backliners, I guess. What are you doing? Are oh, you weakening my eagle? You are coming for a flanking hit on Joval. Another flanking hit. We critted with our Shock Serpent, which completely messed up that Frost Elemental. We did get frozen. But now you're dead. Um, that's a good charge. I want to deal with this idiot first. I don't suppose this is a good chance of working though. It's, it's made of air. So it's kind of understandable. I don't think we need to heal anything right now. No. The Shock Serpent could take... Oh, you attack trouble, not my leader. Musket or this? This could roll higher, or it could roll lower. No, even the minimum of this is better. Okay. You can't charm these guys, by the way, if you're wondering. Level for trouble. You can... Maybe finish them off. Yeah, let's do that. Critted and leveled. Who do we send the Eagle Rider after? They're both complete bastards, but these guys don't have physical protection. Is this a flank? Yes, it is. A charging flank. You're now disgusted, though. So, sorry about that. Might need to heal next turn. Shock Serpent shrugs off the Frozen. Going after my Eagle Rider. Leave him alone. Leave him the hell alone. I tell you, we are going to throw out the Holy Cure, like so, and we're going to feed a rabbit to our serpent. It's now the most happiest serpent ever. Can't do a whole lot though over here. Can you make it? Oh, you can. Turn this guy around at least. Critted for 20 physical. We can kill it now. Do we go after you? Can't get a flank with two attacks, unfortunately. But we could kill it if we roll well. And this guy's just in trouble right now. Yeah, I'm going to go after this guy. Tie him up at least. If we critted, we might have got him. Eagle's a bit low again, but he should be okay. He says. There's that bloody thing. We're going to crit you again. Just the happiest serpent you've ever seen. Just loving life. Okay. Can't get close enough for a heal with you. I guess we can... Are we already giving you rabbits? What's a better heal? This is, I think. Yeah, give me that. 
Let's get some more levels on you. Ah, oh, we can't make it. Cannot make it. The Eagle Rider's really pissed off. Do a wing beat. There you go. Waft away some of that stench. We did it without a loss. I am satisfi satisfied with that. Gives us Savage Rage. A chunky looking piece of armor. Look at that. That's going to be really good for Leo. Or we could take 500 gold. I think I'm going to take... That's a really good piece of armor. And yeah, we're going to give that to Leo, I think. You've already got a decent chest piece. Piece. Leo is, I guess, most likely to be in melee, which is why I give him stuff. But is he? Should we just give this to our hero? Or Trouble, who's right here. Well, Trouble is going to be defending this seal. So hopefully won't see much action from things that do physical damage. Yeah, we'll send it to Leo. We'll send it to Leo. He'll have whatever he has until then. What is it? He has a, a plus three thing, doesn't he? Yeah. So you can get the plus three thing after. You guys are healing up. Upgrading trouble here. Calling ancestral spirits is fun, but you need more casting points for that. So, do we get the casting points or do we get the protection? I think we need the protection because we're going to be fighting elementals, right? So let's get spirit of the land. And maybe a vision range because you might be here. Oh, you, do you already have it? Yeah, Druid seem to start with it. I don't know if that's just the modded heroes or something. Um, and some more spirit protection. Why not? So, where's the elephant? It's coming. It's a coming. The rest of yous are going to take out this necromantic circle before it starts spawning some heinous things. And this watchtower you can take. You're camping here, Trouble. We're here for a while now. Hey, Tiger Dude. Yeah, I want you to come and look at these inns for me. Drove, I'll go to that item rack, maybe. I think we're ready to next turn here. Two turns until gargantuan animals. And then I think we want to focus on casting points to summon things quicker. Someone is a sage, which means they researched everything, I think. On turn 37. Now, it might mean that they just researched a tier... Uh, I will see. It might, be, it might be that you researched a certain tier of skill or thing. Did not see any movement from the goblin again. If I took that 500 gold reward, I could have rushed the eagle rider. That is a nice chest piece though. Oh, someone has imperial residence, means they have the palace. Great. So hard to get those quests when you are against Emperor AI. Hey! We grew over here. Now now we have some production from the haste berries and some research from the ruins. That is great. Next turn we have Gargantuan Animal. If I take you off research focus, do we still have a next turn? We do. Which means I'm going to start going up this track to get... What is this? All oh, right. To get the megalith at the end for all the mana. And then we might just be generating mana in that city. Hey you. Alright. Let's destroy these idiots. It's a bunch of farmers. I bet they'll do decent damage to us. Because look. Three of us are mounted or flying or something. Don't cast any spells. Just kill them. Took some health off my sun guard. Look at this. Stack of crap. Just stay here. Because if we attack them now. The, uh, the units inside the circle would join. So just move to here. And they should attack us. Hey, Tiger Dude. Run away. Hold well on. Leo. 
healed up enough, maybe? Let's just do this. Probable victory. Why do you have so much casting points? What happened? I didn't catch whatever happened to give us all those casting points, but I'll take them. It means we can throw in well, several Hornet Swarms if we need to. Although we might need it, or rather, we might like it to uh, summon some gargantuan animal animals a bit faster. Cursing my Sphinx. Alrighty. Mammoth, just go forward. Your expert rank, what do you get at Elite? Killing momentum, which means you get some action points back when you kill something, which is pretty good. Is this range? I always forget. I never use this thing. Okay, I guess it's not. Sublimator. Come over here. And remind me what spells you have. You have a heal, you have a magic fist, which sounds fun. Right there. You... Still keep you behind some kind of shot blocker, I think. I don't really want to use these guys. They might get hit by a blood fever here. And Leo. Soon to have a fancy chest armor, but nothing much you can do right now. We can't cast a spell with Joval because he cast on with Sublimator. There's that Blood Pavilion doing its thing. I'm not exactly sure what a Blood Pavilion is. It's a dark ritual, okay. There's that Bane Fire. You've got bows resisting the bleeds there. That nice sun shield is all helping us out. Javelins now. More javelins. Not doing a whole lot though. Okay. Our mammoth can't quite reach the gate, unfortunately. I think we'll go towards the gate. Oh, we should have stayed a little bit further away to get a charge on it, maybe. Okay. I'll try and kill this priest. Oh, I can't quite manage it. You. Can you get... Oh, why don't you get over there so we can shoot our disc. I guess we'll shoot it from here. Hurt these guys. That's pretty effective, I would say. Uh, maybe we can just magic fist this guy to death again? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Might want to save that mana for a heal. You. Oh, you can Lion's Courage, this guy. To help him get the kill, maybe? He might just fumble it because he's cursed. Oh, he's a bit happy, though. He's happy enough. Go on, fella. Well done. Uh, let's just send you forward. I don't think you can climb walls, can you? No. Nope. Maybe you'll take a hit, but it'll give you some XP if you do. So that's alright. You might be able to get a kill here with your Bane Fire. Like so. Let's go next turn. Blood Pavilion really hates Leo. We're gonna walk right. All right, those guys have pole arms. That was painful. No, you killed my Sphinx with a crit. Of course you freaking did. Oh my goodness, that was so annoying. It's gonna heal that guy. Mammoth, get in here. This Sphinx is also pretty low. Throw a spear, dumbass. Oh, you're doing nothing. We need to heal you. Then we're going to come up and just crossbow this guy. Crit, but not kill. You. Oh, you do have movement. Does that hit this? Oh, it doesn't quite hit the birds. Leveled up. Can't believe we lost that Sphinx. Forgot about these guys and their pole arm. They absolutely kicked our ass over there. Sloppy. Sloppy play. I couldn't resist that sunbeam though. And that crit was pretty bad luck. Again, doing pretty well against our mammoth. Boom. Anyone else anyone else need a heal? Leo could have one. 
how much damage they're doing to my mammoth over there. I guess we can get a flank. Yeah, get it. Then the mammoth can charge this idiot. I'm really annoyed at that Sphinx loss. It's a tier 3 to an unlucky crit. This is a good city. Wizard tower that we can't clear right now, I don't think. A couple of farms to help it grow, I guess. A couple of gold mines. A water node doesn't really help. I mean, we can't tra uh, change it into a creation node, I mean. City awaits its fate. Now, do we just vassal this place? We might vassal it. Let's vassal. I'm going to focus on the cities I have. In four turns, you shall be vassaled. Uh, I want to look in here. Upgrade Sublimator. We can now get Chain Lightning, I think. Well, we could have got it before, but now we can cast it twice, which is good. Yeah, let's grab Chain Lightning. Elephant dudes. Is it worth even going off the road to grab this? Maybe? Do it. I don't think it helped at all. But we're going to get to that seal soon. You're waiting here to be attacked. Hobton is now a city, which is great. And you're getting things. Good, good, good. You, maybe we'll rush you now. For 100 gold, I shall rush you. Let's go. Where are those lost souls? There they are. It's four of them. I'm not sure what these guys get at later ranks. I think maybe they get like bone dragons or something mental. There's one of them that can get Archon Titans. There is one that can get bone dragons. I'm not sure which one it is. Maybe it's the same one that gets Titans. Alright, oh, Gargantuan Animals next turn. And we get this 90 casting points to help us out. I'm still not sure where we got that. Maybe someone saw. You can grab this shrine with uh, Joe Vile once we clear this out for some bonuses. And they're going to get the first Gargantuan, as you might expect. Very likely victory. I'm not going to try and auto it because of that Sun God being so low. It's a lot of lost, lost slow. Uh, blah, I can speak. A lot of lost souls. But they are only lost souls. We're going to try and stick behind cover. You are going to eat a lovely rabbit. Just jump right into your mouth. Shock Serpent can move up as well. And we have our trusty Elite Griffin. With its tireless. How long until it's a champion? Not long. Not long at all. Getting behind cover because these reanimators have a range of that. What kind of reanimators are they? High elves. I'm tireless, dumbasses. Don't fight my griffin. Okay. Uh, let's awaken something just because we can. And it gives us XP. Like so. I do want some XP on my... Serpent. You're now stunned, fool. Charging wing beats. And oh, maybe you can finish them. Yes, you can. Hold well on. And you're leveled. And at elite, they get projectile reflection. That's pretty good. We can throw out a heal here. We're healing super fast with Jovard because of the natural healer and well fed and the healing so that's pretty good crit from the super happy serpent 34 and 7 hey we got the champion griffin now what's he up to 78 78 hit points select a skill to research summon horned god there's our tier 4 we never saw it when we were 
very briefly a druid the first time because that was the first seal game I did and the seal count was too low he won too quickly war anthem is pretty good I think I'm gonna grab dispel because only one turn and dispel is very useful to have yeah yeah you come and just smash this please oh they want to run fine we have a new chest piece okay trouble can get it does trouble have one no there's barely anything not sure how much plus two defense is going to come into play for her but maybe she'll get attacked or maybe we'll give it to Jaffa the grand I'll give it to you because you also have nothing you have a rifle and a funny hat Alrighty. The heart of the tropics over here. There's an ogre. And you're a tier 2 panther. We could try and befriend you. I wish Trouble was here to try and charm that ogre. We could drag her over here, but then we wouldn't be... Oh no, we can le we can move those guys in. I'm going to say we wouldn't be getting seal points. But there you go. So we're going to wait for Trouble... I'm not going to grab this yet because I don't want to use it up on this fight. Elephants, you are setting up camp. I say elephants, it's only one elephant. He's still young and fresh, a recruit. What's in here? My goodness, two king shot serpents. No, thank you. Do I keep... Poking west. Am I overextending myself here? Should I focus everything to the west side? I think we poke west a little bit. We want to know our surroundings, right? We'll poke west a bit. Leo can hold his own, I think. We start summoning gargantuan animals. You are waiting here. You are going to the inn. Wow. Wow. Draconian El Ascendant Elder. We, well I, completely forgot about these guys when I did my rogue Draconian run. Never even tried to get them. But hey, we won in the end. They have fire bolts, they have melee strike. They can turn into a drake, which heals them. They're, they're fun. They're cool. We're going to buy them for 300 gold. Boom. And you're going to join. Maybe you'll join Jaffa, actually. I don't really want you sitting on an on a seal. Yeah, go and join Jaffa. That'll be fun. And you're gonna continue your tour of the inns. There's one down here. Don't drop your gold, Mr. Tiger. We have our Eagle Nest. Shaman's on the way. Uh, and let's, yeah, let's cancel these. Why did I queue those up? I want an eagle. There we go. So your army is gonna be pretty good, actually. We'll drop one of the Jesters, drop an Adventurer, and you'll have the Ascendant, Elder, the Eagle, Rider, and the Shaman. And you guys, yeah, you guys have Nourishing Meal. A good little army there. We'll go... Maybe we'll, we'll get to the, this Gargantuan Summon, see what it is, and then call it for this episode. I think it's usually a big serpent. And you can't, there is a chance to get a tier 4 serpent out of it, I think. But we didn't have much luck with those chances before of getting the higher tier animal. It's a pretty gargantuan serpent, either way. Once you get the elder, is it worth going for the seal? It might be worth going for the seal and just waiting for things to catch up to you. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't like to move until I'm ready, though. But we might lose the seal to uh, the goblin in that time. They uh, typically... The AI just typically doesn't go for seals until, like, turn 60 or something. New research. We... Oh, we can get ancestral spirits. Yes, I was going to say let's get druidry, but let's get ancestral spirits for two turns. 
you're going to join us and hopefully charm an ogre with your fluttering eyelashes or whatever you do. I guess you just chat them, eh? Chat them up. They got some teeth problems over there. I don't know how they eat. Ogres are fun though. Just big dumbasses that can hit like a truck. 21 damage at recruit level. And uh, actually a pretty decent defensive line with 14 and 11. Hey there, eagle. We'll, move, we'll just move you up. And I guess we will awaken stuff. Like so. And like so. And we want to try not to kill the ogre. Kill the crap out of that thing. That's why. Hey, Griffin. I don't even know if I want you tanking the Yogi, you know, because that thing does hit hard. Let's go over here and hang out. And we're going to try and befriend the Panther, of course. And we'll get two tries at that. If he doesn't kill himself first. Oh, there's the Yoga. You're not tying up... No, you're not tying up trouble. Is that? I don't think there's anything we can do to mess up its resistance and try and get the chance up. I don't think so. Let's entangle you. And maybe charm an ogre 50-50. We did not charm the ogre. So the ogre must die. I want to only get a single attack on said ogre. So that it can't counter me. There we go. But you can just go to town. Well done, you got a level. I guess we'll try and befriend the Dire Panther now. We just defend then, buddy. You can just. Oh, I should send you to the Fell Horse. Well done. 38 crit on that guy. Okay, you pounced. Hey, be my friend. It defends after it pounces, which is pretty annoying. And it's very, very insistent. Did not want to be my friend at all. Okay, just kill them all. I tried. I tried to be nice and make friends. You're now a veteran level King Shock Serpent. Up to 102 hit points. I am liking that. You guys are going to grab this shrine. And then Trouble head back to there. And then Jovald goes east. And... I, uh... Really want to kind of just send this guy east now, I think. Yeah, we go east and we kill the goblin. I'm being peaceful, remember. Hopefully this vassal can hold. Where are you? There. Be vassal in two turns. We are going to raise an orky army. Am I going to get another hero? How many do I have? I have you. What's your name again? Jaffba. Jaffba, Trouble, Leo, Sublimator. I get another one, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure I have four. So the other one can lead the orcs, maybe. Oh, there's sustainable warfare. warfare. We want that. But do we? Because a lot of our units eventually are going to be mana and not gold. Hmm. But well, we're going to get Spirit of the Land for sure. And some shock protection for Droval. He is protected. Look at this. Aside from physically. You go and join Jaffa. You and you just stand there because more stuff is going to pop out. And we're going to rush this for 50 gold. My tiger is... He knows where he's going. He knows where he's going. Item has arrived. Yes. Go on, Leo. 17 defense now. Still, phys still have physical weakness. What, 17 defense? We've got 17. We're going to drop that. 
and equip it on Sublimator. We have a Archdruid's Dolmen. And what did I queue up over there? Nothing. We want the Henge. Just keep on going. And next turn, we get to see what our gargantuan animal is. And we get to see what's in the inn. And we're most likely going to buy it if there's a tier 3 in there. We've got some cash. Making good bank as well. Almost 200 per turn. Thanks to our little earner Hobton. And we're going to get a vassal soon, which will be extra income. You would make more if you took the city yourself, but that also means you need to defend it yourself and spend a bunch of resources building it up, unless you just have it sit there being an earner, undefended, I suppose, which is possible. It is a thing you could do. Saw no movement. Maybe I'll be able to get both of these seals. So some pretty early seal captures for me last game. I took I took a while to get on my seal game. Oh, speaking of hero, it's Arrow the Healthy, another Arch Druid. You start with Field Medic. Does that mean you can get Field Medic and Natural Healer? That would be crazy. He is healthy. Uh, sure. We'll take you. You can lead the Orcs. You still can't hold weapons, halflings, though, can you? That's 300 gold, but we'll take you. And we're going to send you to Rados. It's going to take you a while. Oh, Wazul wants to talk to me. Would you be interested in peace? I would if you don't take the seal. How close is he to taking that seal? He's slightly good. And what are your... He's got like an evil background here. What are your specializations? Can I see? From here? I don't think I can. Let's be friends with the goblin. I don't make friends very often in these games. Let's try it. And if we get to be allies, of course, it doesn't matter if, if he has the seal because we'll both be benefiting from it. Gargantuan animal is ready. Where is Jobar? He's here. Yes. So trouble. Go back to the seal because I want this new gargantuan animal to get the shrine. We got a oh, we got a mature reed serpent. I thought as a king there. These are like blight damage serpents and they can spit poison. And make you severely poison. That's pretty good. And we'll make you a king soon. That's for sure. So, we go east. And I guess we're going this way. There's no other way to cross this river, effectively. Isn't there a way to build? I think you can build bridges. I'm pretty sure you can build a bridge. But I like this I like this uh, wall. It's kind of watery wall. Oh, there's another inn up here. Unspent points for you. You're most likely not going to have animals in your army. Let's grab Natural Healer. Let's grab Nature's Resistance, for sure, for Orcs. And all of the resistances, I guess. Spirit of the Land. Uh, nourishing Meal, for sure. Do you have Vision Range upgrade? Yeah, you do. But I don't think it stacks with the other one there. Get some hit points. Let's just... Reveal a little bit of stuff over here. We'll take this road back. Tiger. What can you find for me in here? A big beetle. We will take a big old beetle. And you can join who? Jaffa? Do we just not take the brute? Not take the jester at all? I think it might be the case. go over there. Tiger continues the tour to there. We might be there before him, but... So now we're at peace with Wazul. We've got our Shaman. 
They can befriend animal, they can awaken spirit, they can entangle things. So you might want to do a little swap here and put the shaman into Jovala's army because they can awaken the animals and stuff and help with that and swap the eagle rider over. Perhaps. But um, that's for later because we're ending this episode here. And it's gone well. We've taken the other city that the orcs had. We're now up to four. Well, one of them is going to be a vassal. Three in a vassal. We made peace with the goblins and we have a seal and soon maybe two. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.